What's up, Big Brother fans? This is Famaka TV, and I'm back with another banger. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so all them Big Brother fans out there, if this is your first time here, go and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, baby, because you know Famaka gives you all the news about Big Brother every day and night. Just keep that post notification on, baby. Check out this clip. You feel like I was on one of the bus? Yeah. It's literally them, like, outplaying, manipulating, trying to manipulate both of us. And I try to kill her, like, yo, this is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And she literally falls for it, which opens me up. Like, it literally shows that if they felt like they could work with me or trust me in any way, mm -hmm. Now they know that they can. Mm -hmm. And when they tell her stuff or whatever, they just know, obviously, that we're working together. Mm -hmm. Nicole does another thing, vote a certain way, mm -hmm. boom. Every time I try to split that, mm -hmm. give them a narrative that's not the case, mm -hmm. about the Bailey situation, mm -hmm. about us not getting it wrong, I literally try to narrate and diffuse that. Mm -hmm. I literally, even when she was campaigning for me that week, I was like, yo, mm -hmm. soften up on the campaign mm -hmm. so we don't ever get targeted together. I'm mm -hmm. literally trying to split that narrative and she falls for it to bring us together again mm -hmm. at least for the people to see and I'm just like mm -hmm. I'm literally trying to play it this game like strategically um, smartly and whatever the case and I get pulled into these traps what they find is what it feels like I don't know if she's setting traps no I'm just saying traps that they're setting oh yeah and it's coming it's becoming so obvious so with this situation though, they're obviously gonna talk to you. I saw everybody wanted to talk to you last night. They didn't want to talk to me. Why they want to talk to you? Because I was yelling in the house. Yeah, but what, what is the narrative you're telling? That it's working, that they're doing what they want to do. That Nicole is the one that, who, you see, this is where it's gonna get wonky. Who were the three votes? That's what we got to get on the same page. Listen, at this point, I know, I know there's a, there's something to be fighting for to try to win this game, but I, I honestly don't mind going to the stage, feeling like I stay true to my color, mm -hmm. and I try my best to to give the give an opportunity to what is considered the impossible in a game where the odds are already against you. That I tried for my own sanity of not yeah. being targeted by people who look like me, calling me Uncle Tom. I thought I was going to have Like, okay, that was a scenario. But Nicole has literally been projecting this me and Ian thing all season to the flight from her and Cody. Yeah. Being tight. Mm -hmm. Literally, every moment, she, she's like, when she, when Cody was upset one night, literally, like, visibly upset in the room, she became, like, agitated. And, you know, she was like, I don't know what's going on with them. And he's like, your brother, you don't know? She's like, no, 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 no. Like, like Ian, like, and then she, like, deflected. She's like, no, no, like, Ian, everybody knows, like, Ian's my... Blah, blah, blah. Like Ian's mom. I was just like, Cody's upset, you're upset, but now you're talking about Ian. Yeah, I mean, I that's why I'm seeing it. But what I'm trying to do is focus, like, on my, not the, these distractions. These are traps being laid that we're falling into. We're getting upset at each other. Yeah. But what we, like, say, for example, the fact that when you used your power and you decided to not tell them, you had to commit to that. You had to commit to not telling people because... Until you had an opportune time to tell me. That's how both of you guys in confidence. I know, I that know. Was, that was literally me saying, hey. I know. So what I'm trying to say is, in this instance, people are all going to ask questions. We have to stick to the narrative that we were, somebody was laying a trap to make us look like we did, but we all backed out. And it must have been other people who voted. And that's the only narrative that we can go, go with. Otherwise, we're going to start Listen, eating our own, and that's, that's Listen, gross. I, I know that Memphis will likely put me up. You probably will put me up. Me and you again. It's probably going to be me and you. That's fine, and I'll go. And David Levis. I, I know, but listen, I continue to try to make this work, and I keep getting exposed, even when I create nervous, but we don't. Literally, like, specifically on the campaigns, I was like, me and David, blah, blah, blah. 
trying to split that difference. I've been doing it for the beginning of the season. Like strategically, trying to split that, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, baby. What you think about that? Yeah, more clips to come. And for Market TV, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, baby. This is for Market TV, and I'm signing off.